Okay, let's have a look at some hearing aids and let's look at how they've evolved over the last 30 years from what were quite big, bulky devices to what are today truly invisible hearing aids. Um, in a, another video I talked about this particular type of hearing aid which is known as a body aid and uh, traditionally this was um, worn, and you might have seen this on some of the old movies, uh, in a little pouch or pocket on the chest. The reason I'm showing you this is not to encourage you to have a body aid today, don't think that's necessary in the vast majority of people, but just to get an idea of the building blocks of a hearing aid and what difference if any there are today with the days when this was made. This is an analogue hearing aid and one of the big changes that's occurred in the last few years has been that the products are now digital, the process digitally, which produces a much higher fidelity situation for the uh, person wearing the hearing aid. But basically what we've got here is a an instrument with a on-off switch and a volume control, very basic, and here in the middle the grill is where the microphone picks up the sound. Where does it come out, you might wonder? How do you get it in your ear? You can hardly do that with it, can you? You could try, but it wouldn't help you very much. But what you basically do <clears throat> is you have an outlet here into which you plug a cable a bit like a Walkman quite frankly so you pop the cable in there and on the other end of the cable just like your Walkman you have a loudspeaker that's what this is it's sometimes called a receiver in the hearing aid industry and that plugs into an earpiece that's made to measure for the ear and worn in the ear so effectively that's the gubbins that's being worn the main point I want you to realize is that these are the building blocks of all hearing aids even today everything's just as you'll see shrunk in size so you've got your amplifying device in this box and obviously another thing to remember about hearing aids is like all electrical devices they need a battery and here he is jumbo boy so he pops in here and you're ready to rumble, switch on and get ready for the, the noise. So that just tells me it's working. So battery, processor, microphone, loudspeaker and a link between them. Coupled to the ear with a handmade, made to measure ear mould. Now, over the years that I've been in the industry, we've seen hearing aids then develop into instruments that you're more familiar with. These are devices that fit behind your ear. And they fit nice and snugly. And again, they have in them a microphone, which in this device is at the top of the hearing aid, a processor, which handles all the sound amplification and the shaping an on off switch in this particular model a volume control in this particular model the loudspeaker is situated here at the top of the hearing aid uh, where this elbow is and this elbow <coughs> excuse me connects to a custom made earpiece that fits on the elbow and then fits into the ear nice and snugly and that's quite a big hearing aid as you can see and it uses um, a blue battery and I just happen to have some around the back here that's the battery that this particular hearing aid uses it's a, a big battery in relation to the button cells but having said that when you think about it this particular hearing aid is more powerful or it's certainly equally as powerful as the as the um, this body aid was and yet I'll just flip this battery out look at the difference in the batteries already and we're, we've still some way to go you know that was the original body battery and here's the biggest BTE behind the ear with the blue battery as a matter of interest the smallest battery that we use is the yellow battery. Mamma mia, this is a baby. 
and this can be used in hearing aids for people with quite significant hearing losses I'm actually holding it with the, the stay fresh tab but there's the battery compared with the body aid battery that's a 10a battery yellow tab so boy these battery boys who make these things are doing a, a marvelous job and these are relatively cheap to buy and damn good value for money especially if you buy them at a cent don't forget that now our hearing aids have continued to evolve and we've kept to begin with the 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 ergonomics have improved over the years and you'll see in the very recent devices that are now privately available how sleek and how um, user-friendly they are they have hardly any controls on this particular area has got a lot of controls on it but this now is a pretty well an obsolete device in that it's been overtaken by technology that enables a lot of this work to be done automatically in the if you like in the intelligence of the hearing aid but it's a behind the ear hearing aid it uses a smaller battery than the blue battery but a bigger battery than the yellow battery and in fact it uses this orange battery I will just pop one out for you that one's gone on the floor so we'll leave it where it is I feel like I'm in a kitchen here there's the battery that fits in this hearing aid it's number 13 if you're wondering and powers up nicely now engineers are always trying to progress technology and the next achievement was the baby aid this is one of the early baby aids in fact this was made for babies because in fact the volume control here has actually got a baby cover on to stop the kids tampering with it so it's quite a cool idea and this particular on off switch is also locked so once it's on they can't fiddle around and cheat on us and that makes sure they hear well but it's a small little hearing aid as you can see and it uses what's called a 312 battery so the battery is here it fits in that little compartment there and I happen to have a 312 battery here it is it's the brown battery you might wonder why I'm so funny about colors and the reason is I'm colorblind so I have to remember the numbers whereas many of you remember the colors so the brown battery is this little baby battery here you just take the tab off pop it into the battery drawer slow and a bingo we're away so you can see how things have gone from forget the body aid for the time being we've gone from that and we're down at this and for many people the sizes work very well 